Hey everybody, the provider here. Today we're going to test two different ways to chop firewood more efficiently. Here we have 22 pieces of wood. I'm going to split it into two equal piles of 11 rounds and we're going to see which method of chopping wood can get through those 11 rounds the fastest. Okay, the first method we're going to use on this test is the old tire that we built on this platform in the build video. I'm going to be using my Fiskars X27 splitting maul and then I have this little pick rune axe rune that I built that I'll be using to help me get these logs off the ground into the tire so I don't have to bend over as much. So I'm going to get my, my stopwatch out here and we're going to give it a go. Alright, so there we go. Five minutes, twelve seconds. So now I'm going to get the other log set up and we'll test method two with the bungee and the paracord and see how that works out. Alright, in test two here, we're going to be using this bungee cord and this paracord that we made in, in the other build video with all these loops in it. And we're going to test 11 logs. Uh, same number of each species and see if this test is any faster or more efficient. So, I'm going to get this one started. Let's go!
All right, so here we go. All 11 pieces split. Four minutes, 42 seconds. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna give you my evaluation of both of these methods. While it was uh, slower, I, I like using this tire better. It's uh, easier to swing because the rounds are up off the ground a little bit. Not only that, they're on a hard surface. Um, any miss hits, your, your axe handle is going to hit this tire and it's really going to lengthen the life of your, your axe or your splitting axe, your splitting maul, whatever you're using. And with the bungee cord and the paracord loop method, uh, you saw very quickly that just one miss hit and my axe went right through, my splitting axe went right through that paracord and it, it turned the rest of that test into a hot mess. Um, not only that, you're having to split on the ground. Uh, the ground is softer so it's going to absorb more of the impact, making it harder to split. And the wood, the wood went everywhere. I, uh, and when I was picking up the wood here at the end, I noticed that one round had rolled off. So even though that was about 30 seconds faster, I only split 10 rounds. One of them had rolled away uh, when this device came splitting apart. So overall, in, in my personal experience here, and uh, based on what you saw there, I, I like this method better using the tire. A couple things I learned uh, when using this. Uh, if you notice the first part of the test, I was having trouble getting the split rounds out. That's because I packed this tire way too tight. So trying to pull them out, that really ate in some time. And then at the end, I was left with two big pieces that were so large that they both wouldn't fit in there at the same time. So you really kind of got to make judgment calls on, on getting one big piece in and then a couple little pieces to, to fill in, but not pack it too tight. Uh, with this method, um, you know, I, I really didn't like it, and we'll just leave it at that. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, and please check out some of my other videos. There will be more to come in the future as well. Thanks a bunch. Provider out. Thank you.